Hi, I'm your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and I'm going to see the people who chose Group A on Monday and Tuesday, the people who chose Group B on Wednesday and Thursday, the people who chose to stay home, I might see on Wednesday, I hope I do, and the people who decided to attend all the time. Um, I'll see you too. Now, if you are clueless about what I'm talking about, I sent everyone an email about having to choose the group you're in because we're going to have to go to a rotating class meeting because more people have joined the class, which means we're going to have to accommodate the fact that more people are there. When there were only nine people in the class, we could have come every day and had a face-to-face, old-fashioned kind of class. But once the student population gets over nine, we have to start splitting up the class so that you all come on, on separate days. And that's just the way it is during these times we live in. So, I'll see some of you on Monday anyway. Let's take a tour of your syllabus. OK, here's my desktop. Aren't the sheep cute? Yes, they are. OK, I'm going to choose Google Chrome. And uh, you should use Google Chrome with, uh, with all this stuff that we're doing. Uh, Safari just doesn't work well. And I've heard people say Edge doesn't work well. I don't know if it does or not. I use Edge sometimes, it works fine. But Anyway, when you're dealing with NWAC, you've got to use Google Chrome. So here we are with Google Chrome and I have I have an icon here for NWAC, but I'm going to go to the web page address www.nwacc.edu. And there's our drone video. I'm going to go to where it says log in. And I'm going to choose Canvas. And then I'm going to use my NWAC username and NWAC password to get in. All right, and here you are. Fall 2020 combined college algebra and intermediate algebra. Now, how I got here to talk to you was I clicked on this link right here, which is visible the minute you come in into Canvas. All right, here's our class link for class meetings, and here are my office hours link for when you need help. And it tells you what the times are down here. Let's go to announcements. And I have an announcement up here. Class MO is changing, modus operandi, how the class operates. And this is where I explain, it is long, but it has to be. I explain about groups A, B, H, and S, and how you have to choose to be in one of those. I think it's worthwhile for you to read this. So you don't show up on Monday and I have to shoo you away. That would be embarrassing. OK, now let's go down to syllabus. Here is your syllabus. This is what tells you everything you need to know. OK, like how the class will be conducted. And this is all about what we're going to do in class and how we're going to do it. Um, this is supposed to be a link, but I forgot to put it in, so I'll do it after this video. This is how you can contact me, the math advisor, and the ad admin of the math department. You click here to find out how to take tests. We're going to be using a proctoring service because our 
our testing center is not big enough to hold whole classes or a lot of people and still have social distancing. So all online and well, actually all the classes, all the classes are having to use ProctorU, all the math classes are. And this will tell you all about it. Now, recorded class meetings, I'll be recording the class meetings and then putting them here in modules. And my live streaming office hours you already saw, here's where you find those out. All right, now we keep going down and I know this is not the most interesting thing in the world to do, but you need the information like how to register in my math lab. Uh, and and here's your student access code to get you your 40% discount as long as you register when you're inside My Math Lab. What you do is you come here to My Math Lab, you click on it. And what you see is different from what I see because I've already logged in. I've already registered. So this is what you'll see once you register. Okay, you've got to have a graphing calculator. <clears throat> you need to have a TI-83 plus or a TI-84 plus, there's a fly around me, or a TI-84 plus CE, that's the color one. I'll show you the CE. I hope you can see this, I think you can. I'm using the trial version right now, but this is what it looks like. And it does everything. OK. Now the grading scale and the fall 2020 grades, there have been problems with the links. I don't think this is a link. No, it's not linked yet. I had to unlink and then relink everything. So <clears throat> in several minutes after I finish the video, um, these should be filled in and you can check them. OK, the grading scale and what the fall 2020 grades look like for you. Um, it is important to know that that you're going to be graded. Your real grade is going to be in the My Math Lab gradebook, not in the Canvas gradebook. OK, so sometimes people get mis- uh, uh, make mistakes about that. And uh, so don't make a mistake about that. But you can always ask, it's okay to ask. Here's all about your grade stuff anyway. Here's the calendar. You can click on that and see the dates that everything is due this semester. Um, let's see. My office hours and help times we already talked about. There's also the Student Success Center. I didn't fill in any of these. OK, give me about half an hour to fill them in. I do not know why they're not filled in, but I'll find out. But this is where you go anyway. You go to Canvas. This is what you'll see. You'll see the two links here as well as these links to take you to, for instance, syllabus policies are all the rules. You can read that to go to sleep. OK, so I'm giving you a great big welcome. Welcome to NWAC. Welcome to my math lab. Welcome to Canvas. Welcome to a very unusual semester. And I'll be talking to you later. I'll talk to you on Monday, if not before.
Okay, I'm stopping recording.